Welcome back to another episode of the program. Today we're going to discuss Northern Guatemala and the supposed lost civilization discovered using exclusively by LIDAR uh, on a large contiguous area within the MKCB, also known as the Mirador Calakmul Karst Basin, which is a huge area in Northern Guatemala. And it's close to uh, the ancient city of Tikal, which we'll get into a little bit later. And this lost civilization is not really a lost civilization, it's a Mayan uh, site. They're actually classifying it as a pre-classic Mayan site. And this LIDAR revealed concentrations of these settlements that date to about 1000 BC to 8150, so about 2000 years ago. Overall, the concentration consists of almost a thousand site, uh, settlements, 775 ancient Mayan settlements, plus 189 in the surrounding ridge right outside the basin. Archaeologists have condensed these further into 417 cities, towns, or villages. The whole area that they uh, occupy, that these settlements occupy, round up to 650 square miles, uh, and that includes a 110 mile causeway system which is basically elevated road, which is pretty advanced con considering what the expectations were beforehand what these mi in terms of what these mines were capable of. Rather, the findings were dated using archaeological testing plus volumetrics of contemporaneously constructed architecture with similar morphological characteristics. They're using uh, the dates that have already been done in the surrounding uh, already discovered areas mainly because they all share common features. So this is figure A, the Tigre Pyramid. And among some of these complexes you can see are ball courts that they've discovered, monumental architecture, water management and collection facilities, canals, reservoirs, that type of stuff, uh, massive platforms, pyramid constructions. Uh, you can see the causeways here as well which lead to another site in figure B called La Danta, which is another uh, pyramidal complex, also in the basin, located really close to uh, a Tigre pyramid. And you can see here, this is all LIDAR imaging. So one of the initial theories being uh, discussed in the mainstream are is that these densely populated areas were serving as centralized hubs for work, recreation, politics. So this is almost a, like Roman Republic uh, level of organization in terms of infrastructure in the city and like just the ample amount of space that they were using and, and taking up and having a productive, I mean, you'd have to have a productive society in some way to have this up and running and that's what one of the uh, not conclusions but uh, one of the working theories is that this suggests some sort of centralized uh, government or some sort of system so some of the other takeaways that they were uh, tossing about was all this flies in the face of the sparsely populated theory of human settlement and population at that time all everything that they discovered must have been la labor in intensive and suggests early centralized administration or some sort of socioeconomic policy or strategy to conduct a project of such magnitude. Some of the connections, because of the aforementioned morphological similarities, there were connections to Teotihuacan and the Tikal complex. Uh, these sites are no doubt closely connected with the Tikal complex in both geographic location and architecture because it's not that far from Tikal. It's right a little bit west and north of west, this whole entire area. And um, just by geographic location alone, how close proximity it is, and the fact that it's <laughs> it looks very similar, it makes sense that there would be some kind of connection here. Uh, Teotihuacan, though, is 650 miles away. The areas still have similar orientation, so the, the people who built those sites are clued into astronomy in some way, shape, or form. They had it in mind when they were planning the city. And, you know, that area now, which is now Mexico, you know, parts of Guatemala as well, a lot of, city, a lot of parts of Mexico City, there are still megalithic sites there and a lot of 
modern buildings are built on top of the foundations of much, much older buildings. And there's evidence of even the civilizations separated by centuries where they add more to a pyramid than nothing changes for a while and then a few hundred years later they'll make the pyramid even bigger this just confirms a lot of what a lot of the archaeologists were were saying generations ago that at one point in time there was these were huge mega cities they su- supplied or they sustained rather a huge population thousands of people were living in these cities and they had more or less a productive society People lo- always knew that they were out there in the, j- the jungle, swallowed up these cities. They were just long forgotten. They were abandoned or the people died out for from waves of sickness. There are a ton of stories in a ton of different places, but they all point to ruins of a vast empire or society, whatever you want to call it, just lies dormant out there waiting to be discovered. And so these LIDAR images are great. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. What what else do you guys know about this area? Have you guys ever been to, to call or any of these um, sites? Let me know in the comments.